Okay guys, what is going on? It's Haz here back with another video on PCs. PC gaming, PCs in general, and today I'm going to answer the question two or three of you have asked. Not a lot. Uh, I'm pretty new to PC game myself. I've been using it the last five months. And I've had the question posed a lot. What do you put most of your budget in when building a PC? A CPU or your GPU? And this is a question I'm going to break down this video. Probably going to be about five or six minutes long. And I'm going to be asking you questions like, what are you using your PC for? Primarily gaming, just a little bit of gaming outside, or is it going to be a full game machine, or is it going to be like a full editing machine, full like Photoshop machine, that sort of stuff. Let's jump in now, break down the questions. Okay, the first question you're going to want to ask yourself is, what is the budget that you have available for this um, for example I spent £160 on my CPU and 250 on my GPU and this was primarily the case because I mainly wanted it for gaming but YouTube on the side so I got an i5 4690k and a GTX 970 which really complement each other very well but for example some people I know got the older i7 the 3770k and got like a 960 which is like the way around like 250 for the CPU and uh, 150 for the graphics card and you're going to ask yourself this um, if you want in to get the best graphics card that your budget will allow you you're going to say am I going to be playing games what are going to require this and as you can see from me I'm playing fucking CSGO in here but I do play Ark and Star Wars Battlefront, so that kind of pushes the GPU to its limits, if you understand. But whereas on CSGO you can get three, 200, 300 frames on max details, so you could get like a shitty graphics card and still run this game. But if you're thinking of buying your PC as, like I don't know, like a workstation, say you've got to use Adobe Creative Cloud, fucking tons then you're going to want to be best suited to getting the better CPU say a 6, 8 core like a AMD 8350 not the most expensive if you're on a tight budget and if you want like the best performance maybe an i7 high i7 with the 6 or even the 8 cores which could put, will obviously put you down on your graphics card budget but you might not even need a graphics card for what you're going to be doing but if you want in it for a little bit of light gaming on the side you can always add a little cheap graphics card but that is, the, that is the main question you guys are going to ask yourself is are you getting this for gaming mainly, editing mainly or a bit of mixture of both which is why I got what I got there wasn't a big leap and bound between them I got the i5 4690k because it was overclockable and gave me a bit of leeway if I wanted to increase the performance so to speak um, so this decision is completely up to you guys but I would recommend if you're buying your PC mainly for gaming purposes, to get the better GPU, just do it. Took me to explain to get it, but get the better GPU. And if you get any PC, mainly for video editing, Adobe Creative Cloud, get the better CPU. But that is really all you need to take into consideration. Those are the two things that I base it on. But obviously, your other PC specs are going to come into play. If you're getting it for Adobe Creative Cloud and video editing, you need at least eight gigabytes of RAM. Whereas you can run most games on 6 gig. Uh, anyway, that is the end of this video. Let me know in the comments if this helped you out. Drop some more questions in the comment section or tweet to me on Twitter. The links will be in the description. Let me know if you enjoyed. Smash that thumbs up button and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.